In this walkthrough, we'll demonstrate how to access and navigate around professional print and layout. To launch the software, use your Windows Start menu. Go to Canon Utilities, choose Professional Print and Layout, and then click Professional Print and Layout. Your screen will look similar to this one. You can also launch the software as a plugin from Digital Photo Professional, Adobe Photoshop, or Lightroom software. The software opens to an empty preview area, with most default settings based on the printer you specify, such as single image layout, indicated by one slot or red bordered image container. More on slots later. For now, we'll delete the slot and start clean. Next, choose your layout. The three buttons on the bottom left of your screen control how the interface looks. In this video, we're setting the interface to show the thumbnail area on the left. The thumbnail area acts as your image library. To add images to the software, you can use the file, open menu, or drag and drop multiple images at once. Images added to the thumbnail area have their own controls, which we'll cover shortly. Having your image library sitting in this thumbnail area makes it easy to quickly add or swap out images without having to start completely over. From the toolbar area, you can insert or delete pages and navigate through pages. You can zoom in to inspect an image or enter a zoom percentage value, then instantly zoom out to the original setting. Preview options include cut sheet or roll. In cut sheet preview, you can change orientation, but this option is not available in roll preview. The soft proofing option is also set from this toolbar. Drag an image from the thumbnail library. The count increases inside the thumbnail area. This tells you how many times an image is used in the current layout. Click the plus button on that thumbnail. The software adds the same image with the same settings to the layout. Because the current settings specify single image layout, the software creates a new page in the layout. If we specified a multiple image layout, the image would have been added to the existing page, which we'll show you in other videos. Also in the settings area are two tabs, general settings and color settings. On the general settings tab, you'll find choices for print settings, layout, and color management. On the Color Settings tab, you'll find more advanced color options including curve adjustments, brightness, contrast, and balance, as well as buttons for returning to default settings. Remember, settings here apply to all images, so click defaults to reset your changes back when you're done editing. You can also import and export curve settings in PCV format. Hover over an image to display image information. Original size, file name, and other image metadata are displayed. Click an image to display the slot menu, which offers additional controls like the size of the slot that holds an image, crop, rotate, and slot allocation settings.